The individual in question is experiencing a sense of unease regarding their future, showcasing a determined and conflicted character. This person is at a juncture, caught in a state of indecisiveness and confusion. On the flip side, there is a shift in your emotional state, transitioning from a turbulent emotional period to a state of simplicity and creativity. You have begun to devote time to your passion projects, radiating a serene and affectionate energy, disregarding any worries about the future, and instead relishing the present moment to the fullest. In this context, both of you are deeply engrossed in a dreamlike energy, symbolized by the Nine of Cups. This energy is nostalgic, reminiscing about the love that you both share. Despite the dreamlike quality of this energy, your partner perceives the connection as a fantastical fairy tale, seemingly distant and unattainable. The potential for a union between the two of you is hinted at in the Four of Fans, indicating a harmony that could be established through a peace offering from the other person. You, on the other hand, have found a sense of peace within yourself. You are no longer complaining or crying, instead embracing the divine timing and being open to communication from your partner. The bottom of the deck suggests that your partner has walked away, possibly to make a crucial decision, particularly concerning a third party or a karmic situation. They are aware that this choice will bring about significant changes and upheavals in their life, but they are prepared to face any challenges head-on for the sake of the connection. Their commitment to the relationship is evident, as they are willing to sacrifice or give up anything for the connection, demonstrating that your love holds immense importance for them. To delve deeper into this, let's consider the Nine of Cups. This card represents a state of contentment and satisfaction, often associated with love and happiness. The individual who draws this card is likely to be in a period of their life where they are experiencing a sense of fulfillment and joy. This card could also indicate a longing for a romantic partner or a deep desire to strengthen existing relationships. The Nine of Cups also signifies a period of reflection and appreciation, encouraging the individual to cherish the moments of happiness and love that they have. Now, let's turn our attention to the Four of Fans. This card is often associated with harmony, balance, and peace. It suggests that there is a possibility for a peaceful resolution or a balanced approach to a situation. The Four of Fans could also indicate a willingness to compromise and to consider the needs and feelings of others. This card may also represent a need for open communication and a willingness to listen to what others have to say. In conclusion, the reading suggests that both of you are at a pivotal point in your relationship. You are both immersed in different emotional states, with one of you feeling unsettled and conflicted while the other is experiencing a sense of peace and contentment. Despite these differences, the potential for a harmonious relationship exists, hinted at by the four of fans. The individual who feels unsettled is urged to embrace the divine timing and to open themselves up to communication from their partner. Meanwhile, the other person is encouraged to make a crucial decision particularly concerning a third party or a karmic situation. The reading underscores the importance of open communication, compromise, and understanding in maintaining a healthy and fulfilling relationship. I had always yearned for the opportunity to express my deep affection for you, to shower you with the love that I held within me. I was prepared to dedicate every single moment to devote myself entirely to your presence. I was willing to sacrifice my own wants and needs in order to be with you, to share in the joy and the hardships that life had to offer. The time we did share, however, was often not enough, and the challenges we faced made it difficult for us to maintain our connection. Our relationship was a delicate balance, a dance between two people who were both trying to find their footing. 
We were both striving to be there for each other, to offer our support and our love. But life, in its unpredictable way, often threw obstacles in our path. There were moments when you were unavailable, when your presence was as elusive as a mirage in the desert. And there were times when I couldn't be there for you, when my own circumstances prevented me from being by your side. Circumstances unfolded in a way that seemed to conspire against us. There were times when it felt like I was pushing you away, when I was deliberately avoiding you. And then there were moments when I found myself chasing after you, when my desire to be with you was so strong that I couldn't help but pursue you. The reality of our situation was that we were both trying to navigate through a sea of challenges and our attempts to connect were often thwarted by the very circumstances that had brought us together in the first place. Despite my deep love for you and my desire to make our connection work, circumstances led me to make decisions that did not favor our relationship. There were times when I had to choose between you and other responsibilities, between you and my own needs. And unfortunately, it seemed like fate was against us that every time I tried to move forward, I was met with resistance. It was as if I was cursed with bad luck, that every decision I made was tainted with the shadow of our unresolved issues. Reflecting on these past experiences, I can see now that I may not have been mentally or spiritually strong enough to handle the challenges that came our way. The emotional toll of our relationship was immense and the weight of it often felt like a heavy burden on my shoulders. Taking a stand for myself, for you and for our connection was incredibly difficult, especially given the complex karmic entanglements that seemed to follow us. The connection we shared was profound, and it lingered in my thoughts, even when we were apart. I yearned for you, for your presence, for the comfort and the warmth that only you could provide. I longed for our conversations, for the shared laughter and the shared tears, for the moments of silence that spoke volumes. I miss the way your eyes lit up when you spoke about your passions, and I miss the way your smile could lighten even the darkest of moods. Despite all the challenges we faced, and despite the fact that our relationship was often on the brink of collapse, my desire to be with you never wavered. This year, in particular, has been a testament to my enduring feelings for you. The longing to see you, to hear your voice, to touch you, has grown stronger. I find myself thinking about you constantly, and I can't shake off the memories of our shared moments. I miss the way your voice sounded, the way your laugh echoed in my ears, the way your presence filled my world. I miss the way you made me feel the way you brought out the best in me, the way you challenged me to be better. I miss the way you made me laugh, the way you made me cry, the way you made me feel alive. I miss the way you looked at me, the way your eyes held a world of emotions. I miss the way you held me, the way your arms wrapped around me, providing